Oh, no. GG. Double GG. Wait. Tile screen. Aha! It works in this game too. So yeah, if you stand next to the crystal, you get massive life gen. You want to put some food in the top bar? I do, really. Hot bar management. Right. Some rice. Let's put slime parts up here. That's probably put it here. That's Q, isn't it? Uh, controls. Hang on. U E F. Which one of these is that? U E. Well, hack tactics. When I played Hearthstone, what was my favourite class? Druid. All right. So, next quest: runes. Build the runic anvil. Oh God, that takes stuff, doesn't it? Runes are powerful magic items. <laughs> that takes stuff. Obvious statement in a survival game. Uh, a powerful magic items. You can embed your weapon in armor. They have at least one. Uh, if they have one, at least one empty slot. You will also be able to merge multiple identical runes to get an even more powerful one. You will find runes in chests or by defeating rare monsters. Have a classic druid and rogue. Cool. Right, build a runic anvil. Uh, that's over here, isn't it? Three iron bars. Boom! Place the runic anvil. Nice. Use the runic anvil to bend the rune into your copper sword. That's why we're keeping the sword for the moment, because it's actually part of the quest. Inventory. The rune thing doesn't work for the moment, but put this rune in it. And that will give me plus one damage, I think. Cool. So our sword now has cutting damage bonus plus one, because the rune has given it plus one damage. Quest complete. 30 seeds. We have all of the seeds. Hey man, I'll be right back. Got some work to handle. Okay, buddy. Agriculture. Everyone's favourite part of the game. <laughs> Craft a hoe. We did already. So we get 30 wheat seeds. Food has extraordinary properties. Every time you eat a new meal, it will grant you permanent HP and or SP bonuses. I found this out. Um, I did loads of deep mining. I found the dungeon. I was on bronze weaponry um, and everything until I realised you can talk to this crystal. So I had all of this food in my inventory and I was like, oh, great, just nom 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 everything. However, uh, eating when you're already full will only grant you a temporary HP and or SE regeneration bonus. You'll also be able to mix some ingredients together to cook new meals that will also grant you permanent HP SP bonuses. The first time you eat them, agriculture is an activity you might not want to neglect. Obtaining food in this world will be a long and risky activity. Yep. However, if you use the seeds you gather, you'll be able to grow fruits and vegetables and use them for new recipes. Craft a, craft a hoe, which will allow you to remove grass without digging the dirt. When you obtain seeds, sow them on loose soil and wait patiently for your hard work to bloom. Growth ticks in this game are long. So, yeah, it's something I should have got started with ages ago. Let's put these in the inventory. I'd say again, I don't know how, how much inventory space you get. So what I'm gonna do is just run along here take this grass off and how the seed sowing mechanic works in this game is you kind of scatter the seeds over an area so so you grab the seeds uh, we're gonna do rice seeds on the bottom here so you select the seeds and you throw them and it, you, you probably can't see it, but you can, um, you, it plants like two or three at a time. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is put some, uh, put magical floating torches down. And then what I'm going to do is grab this dirt. Because I, I like cheesing it a little bit. You need wheat and corn for the chickens, by the way. I know! Right. I need more dirt, but don't worry, we will have some soon. <laughs> right, so let's go inventory and then 
we've got corn seeds and where's the wheat seeds gone? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Hadn't claimed them yet. <coughs> cool. So up here we're going to just fright throw loads of wheat seeds down. Right, that's wheat planted. Cool. Uh, how many trees have we got? I've got 39 of these planks. I prefer Starbound's method to placing walls. Uh, you know, left left click to place in foreground, right click to place in background. This is a little clunky by like by selecting it and then going uh, back. It's not terrible, but still. Getting hungry. You talk about food. Right, so that's our start of our farm, which is cool. Let's get another quest. Farming. Build a manager and place it. Put wheat inside and tame a chicken. Now, this is the one that like made me go off and go mining because it takes ages for, for wheat to grow. So let's um, just quickly get it going. You've probably seen chickens whilst exploring the world. There's a bit of a graphical glitch. Um, they can be tamed to provide meat and eggs. To tame them, you must build a manager, uh, a manger, using an advanced working table and place wheat inside. Nearby chickens will be tamed and remain near the manger. Alternatively, you could just chase a chicken and try and make it run to the manger. Cool. So you, you put wheat in a manger and it will. You put resources in. Chickens don't run away from the manger and then they deposit eggs in there. Cool. Right. So. Let's make a manger. One manger, and I'm just going to put it, I think, here. Put wheat inside it. We don't have any wheat, we're going to have to wait for it to grow. So whilst we're doing that, we can do two things. We can either go exploring and get some souls, which is probably what I'm going to do, because at night, lo and behold, zombies come out. Or I could start strip mining. So here's a zombie. Probably need to upgrade our weapon. Yep. That's a lot of holes. Was that an was that an unknown zombie? Oh right, okay, that explains everything. Um probably not a good idea. Let's grab some more corn. If I can find some fully grown corn, that would be handy. Might want to upgrade my sword. Right, let's do that. Sprinting, sprinting drains your energy bar up here, by the way. It's a wisp! Killed it. Right. Upgrades. Uh, where are we at? Cutting damage four, cutting damage five. This is cutting damage six, but I need to get the rune out. Wait, I can just make steel right now, can't I? As I can. I think I'll just go. Can I? Is that enough? For, oh, I've got to make an anvil. Eh. <laughs> steel anvil. Oh, it's three. Oh my goodness. All right, we need to get more steel. And we're gonna need steel for the next quest anyway, which is the alchemy table. So we're gonna to have to risk it for a biscuit in the desert or go underground. Kinda of just wanna go underground, but I kinda of wanna scoot along here because there's like potatoes and butterfly flowers and zombies. That really should be here, but Let's dance. Yeah. Right, so now that we've got 246 souls, we can open one of these, so I'm going to do that. Life gem, medallion, life gem level 1. Plus 2, oh, that's cool. Clam, a walnut, sugar cane, 
Awesome. That's awesome, actually. We're going to take all of those. Um, in our inventory, we're going to put this on. Where's it going? There we go. Nice. Nice. Wait, you only have a copper sword? Thought you could upgrade it. I did. Um, I'm going to go go straight to steel. <laughs> um, okay, so what we've got there? We've got this food now. So that's... People eat these during New Year's celebration and watch your tea. So HP max plus five. Or do I wait? I mean, I should wait until that's... Until that's ready. I'm going to waste the, uh, the regen. Uh, right, also, let's just take the chest so I know I've taken it. Wow, you're a heavy one. You hit like a truck. Don't kill me, bro. Ah, oh, see, it's dropped all. We drop souls, we drop some souls, but uh, you can recover them. So I'm going to go back over there and recover my stuff. He stared blindly without waiting for all of his HP to regen. Fool of a took. Right. Are you one of the badass ones? No, you're not. You are, though. Uh... Uh-oh. Dang it. You have a lot of bars already. What? You know what I should do? Before I go back and get them, I am going to upgrade. Uh, let's do an intermittent upgrade. I think. How much is double jump? A uh, thousand? I think. Hang on a minute. Um, if I put the corn in here that I have... I have no chickens, but I should have some corn, right? Yep. Have I actually eaten the corn? Yep. Put corn in there, and then we can tame a chicken. Corn counts as wheat. Uh, 15 bronze bars. Let's make a bronze sword real quick. Uh, right, first of all, I need to take that out. And then I can use the sword to upgrade... I left it in there, yeah. Uh, we can use the sword to upgrade. Oh, well, sword! Nope, you're not right. That one. Uh, bronze sword. Nice. And then in here we will go dink and then uh, dink. Cool, more damage. Air dash, double jump is 1200. Right, if we sprint past these chickens, we'll chase them back. Give me back my souls. Right, let's get these chickens back. Oh, I want that slime. Better, more souls. Right, let's see if we can send some chickens back to the manger. Run away, chickens! Run away! Right, you should. There we go. Quest complete. That chicken is now tame and doesn't actually run away from us anymore. Cool. Alright, the next one is alchemy or magic. Alchemy is, is uh, that's a long quest. Does that require steel? You have eight wood, eight wisp, one leather and one ruby. Craft the enchantment but I'll oh, make the fireball spell. Soul was chasing me. Come on, plants grow. Look at this one. Ah! You win this round, chicken. Deep boosting? No, okay. You drop lever, don't you? Come at me, bro. Hello? Down here. Fight me like a bird. Wrecked him. Let's, uh, let's just take that. Uh, I want to kill this chicken. Hit 
hit scaling.